Confluence is a great tool for creating a collection of valuable content in one place. Like anybody who uses Confluence can contribute to it, search it, and use that knowledge to do something bigger than themselves. But often, some of the knowledge that you have inside of Confluence would actually be more valuable if you shared it with everyone and not just the people who have access to Confluence. I'm talking the people in your organization who don't have Confluence logins, uh, your clients, your customers, your users. Let's get everybody grouped around this amazing knowledge that you have stored in there. Hi, I'm Matt with K15T and I'm going to show you the different options you have for sharing your content with people outside of Confluence. I'll start by exploring how to share the content of a single page, then I'll move on to talking about how to share the content of an entire space. And then finally, I'll talk about some of the options for publishing content out of Confluence for a totally custom result, both with and without Atlassian Marketplace apps. So first off, maybe you're just trying to get some information into people's hands really, really quickly. And maybe you just need to share a page one off really fast, no big deal. In this case, there's a few options you have for sharing the content of a single page outside of Confluence. The first option you have is to send the page as a document. This can be great if the person you're sending it to doesn't have internet access all the time, or maybe they just wanna have a document in their hands, Whatever the reason, it's a very simple solution. Right in Confluence, there's an option to export the Confluence page as a PDF or a Word file. The export is pretty fast and simple and voila, you have a document file. Now, if you're using Confluence standard or above, you have another option. You can use a feature in Confluence called public links to get a link to the page that you want to share with people who aren't in Confluence. It's really similar to how you get a link to share a page with other Confluence users. You can check out our video all about sharing to see how that works. Once you have the public link for a page, you can send it to anybody inside or outside your organization, and they'll be able to see a read-only view of just that page. And the nice thing is the content is always up to date, which you can't save for the PDF or Word file. Also, the page is only accessible to people with a link. So don't worry, it's not gonna be indexed by search engines or anything. It's just something people can use if they have the direct link to it. Keep in mind that the content styling on both the exported documents and the public link page is pretty basic and that might be just what you're looking for. These options can be really great in cases where maybe you have a support article that would help solve a user's problem. A support rep can export that document, grab the public link of the page, and email it directly to a user. Easy peasy. Sharing a page is a great start, but chances are you have an entire space or entire spaces in Confluence that would be more valuable to everybody if you shared it with everyone inside or outside of your organization. You have a few options for sharing whole spaces with people outside of Confluence, depending on the experience you want to provide. First, you can export the content of the entire space as a PDF document, or you can select the pages in the space that you want to export as that document. Very handy. There is a table of contents that's automatically added at the beginning of the document, which is great for people, especially if it's a long document, they can click in the table of contents to go directly to the thing they want to read about. But keep in mind that you cannot export the content of a space as a Word file, which is kind of a bummer. Also, the PDF formatting will again be pretty basic, which may be exactly what you're looking for, but I would encourage you to just have a look at the formatting, make sure that everything reads correctly before you share it out with people. If you're using Confluence Standard or above, you can also share the entire space publicly using a Confluence feature called Anonymous Access. Anonymous Access gives people outside of your Confluence instance permissions to do certain things in your Confluence space. For most sharing, we typically only recommend enabling view access, but maybe if your team and your admin are comfortable with it, you can also enable commenting and other things. With anonymous access enabled on a space, yes, admins, don't worry, you enable it on a space-by-space -space basis, the contents of the entire space are accessible online. That means they can be indexed by search engines, you can link to it from anywhere. It's kind of like a little mini wiki website. Say that three times fast. Anyone accessing the space will get a read-only view of the content and the comments there. And while they can't change anything, it is still Confluence. So be sure that your users are ready to see the Confluence view because that's what they're gonna see. 
Both of these approaches are great where, for example, you want to share your entire product documentation space. You can either send it along in an email or with an anonymous space, you can give people access to an always up to date online resource. Pretty cool. Maybe you're looking to do something even more with your Confluence content. Like maybe you still like making the content together in Confluence, which is a great place to collaborate, but you want to share it in a really unique and maybe even branded way. Well, you've got a few options here, but to make this happen, you'll either need to extend Confluence with some pretty advanced technical know-how or use some apps from the Atlassian marketplace. So first, you might be interested in exporting really well laid out, customized, and on-brand documents. In that case, you have two options. First, if you have advanced HTML and CSS know-how, you can customize the look and feel of the PDF export in Confluence. No app is required here, which is great. And you can also add a custom header and footer and title page. Now, this process can be tricky, but it's a great way to customize and brand your documents. To export even more customized PDF and Word documents, you can use apps from the Atlassian marketplace like Scroll PDF Exporter and Scroll Word Exporter. These apps that my team makes enable you to customize all the same things that you can customize in the Confluence PDF export, but in a visual point and click editor. So you can customize more, much more quickly and without needing to write HTML and CSS. <laughs> there are also many more fine-tuned controls and document customization options that would be really interesting to you people who really love great documents. You know who you are. Now, if you're looking to get the content of one or more spaces online, but as an up-to-date and customized website, check out some of the site building apps that are available on the Atlassian Marketplace. You could use the Instant Websites app to create a really straightforward website with your content. You could use Refined to create a customized wiki style website. Or check out Scroll Viewport, which my team makes, to create a custom help center with your content. All of these options enable you to share your content in a really customized format, which allows you to create a great experience for the people who are reading it. So are you ready to multiply the value of that knowledge you have tucked away in Confluence by sharing it with your customers, clients, and users? We've used a bunch of these techniques at K15T to both help our users help themselves and also to enable anybody to learn from our existing expertise and knowledge. But hey, that's just our team. How does your team share content outside of Confluence? Let us know in the comments below. And of course, there are so many other things you can do in Confluence. And at K15T, we want to share those with everyone. So hit that subscribe button, share this video with another team trying to share content outside of Confluence, and join us for another video as we continue to explore how to use Confluence to share what you do best.